Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Tower of God season three, episode one thirty six. Real quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Now, huh, I just got finished running. Um, <laughs> we are um we're coming off of Gaston going absolutely crazy with his declaration of war, completely bodying Perseus, bodying um her diddy and then sending holen off with just a mountain of dead bodies um <laughs> with a mountain of dead bodies as as he sends his declaration over the trauma ray so i'm gonna i'm going to assume we're gonna see at least see trauma ray i i i, I would love it if we got to see the reaction from trauma ray in this chapter I don't know if we will, but it'd be cool if we did. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of last chapter. So real quick, if you want to be here for the live recordings, link is in the description to the discord. I got a few people over here with me. Um, and yeah, that's all the prerequisites. I'm going a, I'm to a read what, what they're saying now. If they're not saying nothing, they're just going to go. All right. Stream starts with a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna hop in. One thirty six. A show. This is what's his name, right? Standing there. That's what this is. And ob obviously, I struggle saying that word. Stage show. The Pobedal family has always considered itself a defender of history and knowledge. One thing I wanted to say: there was a ton of great comments like just thinking like taking things that were said last week just reading this right here triggered it billy bob put a really good one in there like what if um like because last week i think i mentioned like gaston is kind of a hypocrite because i don't remember the specifics but you guys we're we're here on that we both we we're all here on that and billy bob brought up the point of what if the book isn't like false history and is the truth and he's giving it to trauma Ray so that trauma Ray could read it and it might either trigger a memory or it might like clue him into something more. And I was like, that's a great comment. I didn't even think of it from that point of view. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. All right, let me. Pull this back. The Pobedal family has always considered itself a defender of history and knowledge. They hate distorted history more than anything. So they're so uh, so they're using this silly show as a way of creating hostility towards Lopopia for for spreading false history. Even if the family leader didn't put on the show, no one here would dare to oppose his war plans. Yes. Um, didn't he just send Holland with the bodies and nothing left? Both the powers, I remember he even burned it during his speech. I thought there was two. What's up, Air? Um, we could, I'm, we could hop back real quick. Um, matter of fact, let me, I'm gonna read this panel, hop back, we hop back here. All right. Even if the family leader didn't put on this show, no one here would dare oppose his war plans. But still, the family leader wants to be as prepared for this war as possible. Let's hop back really fast. Um, scroll down. Sorry for the fast scrolling, y'all. I remember him burning the book, but I thought, yeah, you see, there was two. There was two books because he burned a book right here. I do. I remember him tossing that book, but it was, where's the panel where the two books like float in front of each other? I'm sorry for all the fast scrolling, y'all. See, two books right here. It was the book he had open and then there was another book right here. And then he burned, he burned this book. And then he still had this book. And then he threw the book back up to. To Holen. Right here. This one right here. Yeah. Good recap. Good recap. I'm glad you even asked that. Good recap. All right. Here we go. They never, they've never been in a war like this before. Very impressive, father. 
you've ignited the war yourself where even the slightest fluctuation in public opinion matters to the family leader because one of the 10 family leaders might be killed in this war we're just picking up where we left off low puppy oh we're coming back to ren we're coming back to ren transport ship all right tell all troops aboard we're arriving at the assembly area soon yeah it, you see it's like see youtube come hang out with us next week <laughs> yeah you come in we could just hop around we could do whatever good questions are being asked bear hype hopped in then hopped out so prepare to disembark are these beast people yes they are it's been a minute It's like, look at, look at how, well, these two stand out like a sore thumb. And then you got old Goliath over here. <laughs> All right, let me continue. Ooh. Inside Karaka's World of Darkness. Looks like we're almost, I forgot. Oh my goodness. You see, this is me. You get to see me like relive this stuff. I ain't reread. Right, I haven't reread any. The last thing I reread was the chapter before, um, the chapter before. No, the chapter that took us into hiatus. Oh boy, oh that's painful. Oh, that's painful. My friend just got spoiled on my hero. Scrolling, scrolling through Google. Oh, that's painful um yeah the I, the last chapter i read was 134 which was the chapter that took us into hiatus i forgot that he was even alive i know like we have like a a, a time that's ticking down on him like he's he's gonna die in a couple of months but he's he i remember being like he should have just died all right, inside Karaka's World of Darkness. Looks like we're almost there. 44th floor of the tower, somewhere far away from Lopobia's battleship. The assembly area. Field command. This is the first, like, named floor in a minute, right? Wasn't the nest on floor 52? Is that correct? The nest was on f floor 52. And then every single place we got teleported to, we had no idea where we were. It was just question marks. We don't know where we are. Okay. 44th floor of the tower, somewhere far away from Lopopia's battleship. The assembly area. I like the, like the, is this the, the tapestry, the border of this? I like it. Field commander of Lopopia's army. Floating ship of Lopopia Robodon. Is this? Fifth com field commander of the Lopopia. Floor 50, okay. So, is this the other field commander, elite tamer, Lopobia, Robodon? Is this guy on the same level as. What was the guy's name? Fights. Is he on the same level as Fights? Or is he the, the missing person in our top five, Lopobia? Let me just keep reading. I like his design. He looks like. Odin from Final Fantasy? Like the summon Odin. A little bit. A tiny bit. Forgive me. I'm babbling. General, the ships carrying the Beastkin will be arriving at the assembly area shortly. But something unusual was reported on one of the ships. I know. The head tamer was found dead when the ship arrived, right? Yes, sir. I guess they're the same. And the culprits appear to have fled. There's no way they escaped. They're probably hiding among the beastkin to sneak in here. It's a shame to have all to. It's a shame to ha to have to lose all those troops. Excuse me. But we have no choice. Execute all the beastkin on board when the ship arrives. Yes, sir. That's insane. Go on now. What is this his arm? What the hell is sticking out of him? Okay. Go on now. 
Um, Commander? Forgive my presumptuous presumptuousness. But as one of your grandchildren, I would like to ask you a personal question. What is it? Okay, Lopobia Kadidi Kadidi. Grandson of Robodon and third unit commander of the Field Army's first army corps. That's a mouthful. Why are you taking the whole field army away from the battleship at such a crucial time? There are already a rumors on the battleship that we've abandoned the ship and deserted the battle. Why do I picture this like him being like a little kid? I'm sorry. I've heard the family leader is holding my aunt Laura hostage and won't let her leave. And he summoned my cousins who just became Jihad's princesses back to the ship. Are the rumors true? Are you really going to betray the family leader, grandfather? How can that be? You're one of his direct descendants. You've given your whole life to the family leader. What do you want me to say, Kadi? What? This... If you're asking me about it, let me keep reading. Let me shut up and just keep reading. If you're asking me about our destination as a unit commander, I can't tell you that. It's classified information. If you want to know how I feel personally, I can't explain that to you either. The things you've seen say more than words ever could. If you trust me as your commander, then follow my orders and don't question me. Yes, sir. The war is beginning. This battle is going to be different from anything we've experienced before. We have to face our fears and fight the family leader. The opponent that we can't possibly be. Defeat. Whatever. Whoever's family leader is destroyed first, their whole family is doomed. That's why both sides are gathering their full forces to launch an all-out attack. We're aiming for their family leader's pressure point. Okay. Let me scroll up here and, and reassess. Let me check his hair. His hair's cool. So this guy possibly has been given orders by somebody. I don't say who. I don't know if it came directly from Tramare, if it came from Kirin, if, if it came from the the unknown individual, like the like it's Tramare, it's Kirin, it's someone else, then it's Spider Mama, per, per Diddy, Perseus. That's like the structure of like the strongest people in their family. Camera looks a little funky. Um, so I would assume he's taking orders from either the unknown person, Keating, or directly from <clears throat> Tramare, but it's hard to know who at this moment. Um, he's a field commander, elite tamer. I think he holds the same position as fights. Do I have a picture of fights that I can pull up really fast to see if, um... It's the same exact position. Fights would have been introduced. Okay, so Perseus, Tramare, Desracha. Wang Wang, the Ancient Beast a little earlier. I thought I had a picture of fights. Type F A I T Z. I don't have a picture of fights. Wow. I'm slacking. <laughs> I remember he was a tamer, but I don't know if he was an elite tamer. I'm trying to just see if they occupy the same like the same um title. I thought I had a picture of flights because I thought I put put him in a thumbnail. That's why I'm confused. I know I feel like I put fights in a thumbnail.
No, I don't see it. Let me not waste time on this. That's too far back. That's when you bomb shot the wall. I don't see it. Huh. All right. All right. Um. So he's either taking orders from those three individuals. And there's rumor shoved. There's rumors shuffling around that he might be betraying them. I would he be betraying? I don't think he would be. Because he literally said he's going, he's going to Gaston's pressure point, whatever the hell that means. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> but how? But how they set this up with um little what's his little kid's name? Kadidi. They set it up like like he has every like he has every like excuse to betray trauma. Right? Like his either his like his children or his nieces. And nephews and people that he loves have all been taken advantage of and used and are prisoners and all this stuff. It's just. I don't th I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. He's got a tree root. He is their grandfather. Yeah, because this like. He's their cousin. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. So he, it's like, he has, uh, he has excuses to go against trauma. Right? But would he? I don't know enough about this man to know if he would. And also he echoed the same thing that the dude from Boba family echoed about. I need to keep reading about this being a battle that no one's ever seen before. Would you go against the family head after that last chapter? Not really. But these people are different than me. <laughs> the battleship dock. Wow. Is Bomb wearing pants or shorts? I don't remember. I'm trying to I'm trying to check his fits. Alright. Wow, I've never seen such a big dock before. <laughs> Grow up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you so surprised? The battleship has dozens of docks. Um, let me grow up. Huh. <laughs> dozens? Of course. This is Lopo Via's battleship. To grow up. Sorry. All right. Big whoosh. Who's this? Is that a... All right. Wait, who's in this group again? Time out. I need to remind myself. It's been so long. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's um, Bomb, Cha, Jinsung, Traumare, Lilio, right? Cut the call. It's your drug dealers. <laughs> Your footnote. Uh, if I remember, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So there's a man that shows up on a flying manatee. Do Do Gong Rider Lopobia Keruku Keruru. What am I reading? Keruru Keruru Keruru. All right. Whatever. I heard you. I heard you were coming. Princess Lilio Jihad and guest of the family leader. I like his design. Allow me to escort you. It licked him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it. Stay still. The saliva of pink dugongs is a disinfectant. Let it clean you. There's no telling what kind of outside contaminants there might be on you. That's right. Isn't Traumary like like a, a, a clean freak or something like that. Am I? Is, is that right? Is that right? I don't remember. By the way, where's the family leader? 
He's not traveling with us, obviously. He's already teleported there, so you can just give us a ride. I see. Hop on. I'll take you to your lodgings. I don't know if I'd stand there perfectly just f like just sopping wet of saliva. <laughs> We're supposed to get on that thing? Yep. Flying manatee. What a way to travel, just in a glass box in a in a, in a computer chair. <laughs> so this is inside the battle. It, ah, so this is in is the inside of the battleship. Golly, it's massive. I haven't been back to the battleship for ages. I wonder how my mother is doing. I hope she's okay. I'm guessing that's the aunt that little. I don't remember his name that the little kid was talking about. He's not a kid that the dude was talking about. Lodgings. Come this way. He looks like he belongs in an Earth Kingdom. Only the princess and bomb are allowed upstairs. The two of you can go ahead and take this elevator. The rest of you will be staying in rooms on this floor. Don't stand too close. I'm not. Did he put his hair like like veal? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, did he put his hair like veal again from the be from the beginning of season two? All right. I heard from the family leader. You're taking part in the tournament too, huh? Yeah. Do you really think you can win at your level? All right, there's a lot. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, to be honest, definitely. Yes. He's like, if all the people participating in the tournament are supposed to be around their, their power level, it's a curb stomp. He should win. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. There should be no challenge. Genuinely, there should be no challenge if everyone entering the tournament is sub that's around. You know what? What? What level regulars are they supposed to be? C to B, right? They're supposed to be C to B. In that range, it's been so long. I haven't thought about this in a while. It's been more than a year since I thought about like what level regular. He's supposed to be. It's like C to B range. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. So like if any like. He this like I'm I'm glad that this line is here because everybody was freaking out whenever um, Lilia like rushed him and like he was struggling, so to speak, which I never took that as being the case i just took it as like bomb was being mo very modest he was being very modest and not wanting to do anything against this chick <clears throat> so i'm glad this line is in here where she's like you think you can win talking all high and mighty and he's like nah like yeah i i'm him y'all like none of you peasants that are my that are supposed to be my level or below me hell even a level above me can beat me Right, <laughs> right. The, the, there's you. The, you guys can't hold a candle to me. <laughs> you can't. You can't even hold the, the 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 trail from my clothing. Like you can't do anything. I'm sorry. I, as you can tell, I'm a big bomb fan. Um, I feel like I'm one of the few people that doesn't mind him. Him in white. Going toe to toe. I, I don't mind it. Um, Bomb's response to the last blonde chick who questioned my level had her head blown off by white and I had to revive her. <laughs> That's true. All right. It's a cold panel. Not gonna lie. Butterfly wings? Dragonfly wings. You made it. Huh? A dragonfly? Welcome to the Virtus, 
Yevertis Paris Hotel. Am I saying that correctly? I'm the general manager of this hotel, as well as the test director for the upcoming upcoming tournament. My name is Lopo Be a Jam Jam. <laughs> Advanced ranker Lopo Be a Jam Jam. Advanced ranker, eh? He could throw down. All right, mosquito. Mosquito. Follow me. Why do you say mosquito? What? <laughs> Our hotel Ren is probably here, right? Isn't the title of the chapter Ren? Our hotel, our hotel is only for the family leader special guest. Pro yeah, true. Okay. In terms of ratings, I say it's a seven or eight star hotel. Anyway, only elite guests are allowed to stay here. What a strange manager for such for such an impressive hotel. Mosquito. <laughs> yeah, to say <laughs> mosquito. <laughs> skip that let me skip this too whatever the rooms on the top floor have almost never been used among the many lodgings on lopobia's battleship this is the only place with access to the outside mosquito <laughs> take a look top floor of the verdis veridis verid Veritas. The hotel. <laughs> gate hotel. This gate is used to travel to the outside. Lopobia has a lot of gates. Like there were multiple gates in the nest. There's a gate in this in the back. Like there's a ton of gates. I wonder if every family had has gates like this everywhere. As of this moment, you're not allowed to leave your lodgings and the gate can and the gate connects to. And the gate connects to the outside only with our permission. OK. You'll find your rooms through the door on the left. There are several more rooms, but only four have been prepared for now. The other participants will be arriving here through the gate before the tournament begins. Four rooms have been prepared, so that means. Okay. Four rooms have been prepared, so that means Lilio gets her own room, Bomb gets her own room. There's two other people that are here, or do they expect them to share a room and there's three other people here? Keep reading. You mean someone else is already here? Well, as far as I know, one of them has already arrived. And one more special guest will be here soon. Who could it be? And let me tell you about that door over there. That's another kind of gate, but it connects only to one place. That's what I was going to say. The family leader's room. I was going to guess that. What? <laughs> what did you just say? The family leader's room. You mean the family leader could appear here in person? But why? I thought he was reluctant about showing himself in public. Well, un unbeknownst to you, your family is about to get thrusted into war. So if Tramare doesn't show himself in public, that means like the swift defeat of his family, probably. I don't know if he's going to be filling up to letting that happen. So he's going to have to show up. She really gets nervous whenever the family leader is mentioned. And shut up shut up because that's right <laughs> but it's extremely rare for the family leader to come through that door you can use the door as well but it won't open without the family leader's permission that being said there's a good chance that the door will be used during the upcoming tournament because the general the general director of this tournament is none other than the family leader himself that we did know now let me show you to your rooms follow me guest mosquito i feel like a mosquito should have showed up earlier i think it would have been a funny moment real quick um i've joined i'm watching i'm doing you correctly right just make sure i'm not messing up no you're good you're good no worries you're good you are good all right oh ren 
So Ren's going to be participating in the tournament, eh? Let the hunting begin. Is Ren going to be participating in the tournament? That's my guess. Or is this him up here? He just sneaking in. That's right. They told him to let it go. <laughs> Later that night, bomb's room. Not him sneaking in the bomb's room. Look at that. Sleeping like he doesn't have a care in the world. There's the bastard who dishonored my family. <laughs> After killing him, I'm going to roll him around in my mouth. Then I'll chew him to bits. The chapter's about to end, isn't it? You sure make a lot of noise for a ranker from the Jod family. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? I was wondering who might be giving off such vicious Shinsu that it would wake a newborn baby. It's you. Huh? <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> Bomb wakes up. <laughs> He's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Long time no see, Ren. Why does he look so powerful? Were you looking for me? This is a cold panel, bro. Oh, that's a cold panel. That's a cold panel. Nah, that's, you got the blue Thrissa, the red Thrissa, and Leviathan. That's cold. Damn, why'd the panel have to be so long? Why does this panel have to be this long? I gotta save this. Oh, that's so dope. That's a dope panel. That is a dope panel. Grab this. This is a good chapter, man. This is a good chapter. All right, let me turn that off. Bomb is like, yo, a lot has literally changed. Um, look at cousin Ram with the trip, man. We really do a big over here. <laughs> yeah, Bomb is literally like, yo, stop playing with me. Now, here's the question. I don't even. I don't even want to read the comments. Here's the question. Ren is a ranker, correct? You see, this is where a lot of this, this is going to be a, this is going to be, this would, this question would definitely tick a lot of people off. That definitely didn't like the whole bomb and white thing. Should bomb be able to beat him? Should he, or could he beat him? I need to reread. I'm I can't accurately give this question because I'm literally I'm literally out of touch. <laughs> like when I'm quite literally out of touch with every almost everything in the series. So like I have to do I have to do my due diligence and and um refreshing myself with with the ins and out of the series. Had this had this scenario happen and there was no hiatus I would have instantly spit an answer out, but I can't, I can't confidently say an answer just going off of, I like bomb a lot, right? That would just be mad ignorant. Yeah, he should beat him now 100% before being white. I would have said bomb would have won, but struggled against him. Okay. Vance Renker, if I remember correctly from the floor test, Bomb should flick him like Yuri did if C stays consistent. Okay. See, off off just GP, I would have said Bomb. But then I'm like, let me pull this back. Now, I told myself to shut up early. I'm not shutting up right now. This is a question. I, I, I shut myself up, but it's this line right here where it's just like we get, we get this. Where it's like, it's the family leader's room. And they're like, what? The family leader's room? And then she's like, you mean the family leader could appear in person? But why? I thought he was reluctant. Blah, 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 blah. And then Bomb's like, she really get, she gets really nervous whenever the family leader is mentioned. And it's like, I understand having this reaction. 
But the one thing that I still will never understand, I won't get it. I just won't. And I remember this argument, I can't remember who said it, either... Oh, I don't want to spit out the wrong person, but it's I'm thinking either CM said it, either Rushan said it, someone said it, where it's just like people like in today's time, people um people use like religion for their own benefits. Whenever like I'll always bring up the argument that the family leaders are like gods to them. Right? They're like they're like li like these people worship them like they're gods. They literally do things that are like unthinkable to them and they and they all operate off of the same power base, quote unquote. And I get that point, but in our world, like you can't look with your own human eyeballs and see God, right? And I'm a, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I'm saying that you, like, that's not a thing. There's nothing this about this so it's like in our world i take that argument because people use religion for their own benefits all the time she you you can't touch trauma right but you see him with your own two eyes you've interacted with him you know he's real you know that if you disobey him he'll kill you so the fact of whenever they showed up on her ship and she openly defied him. Like that's just it for me. It feels nonsensical. It feels kind of crazy to still be that petrified of him, but then just outright just tell him no. Like that that I still get hung up on that from all those chapters ago before hiatus. I'm just like that's crazy. It's it feels crazy to me. It feels crazy to me to be like so wound up about the. F it's just like ah, but it's just like he told you to do something. You said nah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, remember the people at the facility where Yam and his brothers were kept back when their mother tried to save them. Yep. Um, and then people who tried to look at trauma and got their eyes burned well within seconds. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like, like these individuals are real. The effects of their actions are real. You look you like you're having a conversation with him. He told you to do something and you said no. <laughs> you said no. You openly defied him. You're lucky you're alive. So it's just like it's moments like that. I feel like that's like the one thing. It's not like an issue, but it wind, like it winds me up with this series whenever like things happen and people always use the argument of. It's been hundreds and thousands of years since this stuff happened. Of course, no one's thinking of that. And I'm just like, some of these people are around the same things that consistently happen. And they still have this, uh, oh my gosh, like reaction. Like, I, cause I remember saying like, at some point, some these people got to stop being surprised at stuff. And everybody was like, oh, stop being surprised, huh? And then the next chapter or later that, later that chapter, um, Traumary was on the ship where they got teleported and I was surprised with Pikachu face. So, <laughs> so it's just like, I feel like it's just, this is another one of those things, right? It's another one of those things. That's good enough. Um, it's just another, it's like this, like what she did and what, um, and what people do like getting shocked. I don't know. Like. If I was an individual, right, and I had the the privilege of knowing that bomb was in a regular, I would be I would be surprised at some of the things that he would do. But would him doing it surprise me? No. Like that, what's happening? Yes, that's like, oh my goodness, that's crazy. But am I surprised that he did it? No. If that makes sense, I'm not surprised that he has the capabilities to do it, but the fact that this is happening could be fantastical. So it's like, I get that, but a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, I can't believe he's doing that. It's like, he has the capacity to do it. And you know, he has the capacity to do it. <laughs> like, you know, he does. So it's like, I'm, I'm not shocked at 
<laughs> he would be able to pull it off. But just something like that crazy happening, sure. I don't know. I have no idea. Um. All right. I get what you're trying to say, but I reckon it could be due to different family members having a different relationship with their family leader. I would assume Yuri has an even more comfy relationship with her grandma. She's a favorite, isn't she? <clears throat> right? She's she isn't Yuri a favorite? Um, to be honest, Yuri was a kid when she talked openly to the family head. Perhaps that's due to not really understanding much, being a kid at all. I'm not disagreeing. Ron was probably the same age, less younger. Emma Shenny talking about defend her. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, those 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 things wind me up. So anytime it ever happens, especially with her, right? Anytime she start, she gonna she gonna piss me off every time. I'm, you might get a rant from me. I I didn't I wasn't angry when Lilio like jumped and attacked Bomb because Bomb really wasn't trying to do nothing. Right, he was he really wasn't trying to do anything. But if we get if we get into this tournament and Bomb struggles, it, and when I say struggle, let me preface this: if Bomb purposefully restricts himself to not using all of his fantastical things, which he shouldn't, right? He shouldn't just start pulling things out. If he struggles with people, I'm gonna be a little upset. Uh, just, I'm gonna be a little upset <laughs> if he struggles with people. I feel like it should be like no diffs. If, if people, his strength are showing up in this tournament, it should be literally like no difficulty all like no diff everyone that steps steps to him and this is why i want i want this tournament to be something that we're not expecting maybe i hope so i want this thing to be like a whole not a bunch of like d c like d regulars or c ranked regulars or b rank regulars or a rank regulars I want I want them to get there and be like, hey yo, high ranker, advanced high ranker, advanced high ranker, high what is happening here? I want it to be like that. I want to be like, oh snap. Like they're really like Chalmer is really making sure that uh uh this ain't happening. And to make it tough. That's what I want. I want to be taken back by this. All right, and I and they'll feel comfortable with throwing Lilio in there because she's the princess of jihad. And Bomb is like the, the Slayer candidate of FUG and all this stuff. Like, I want to I wanna be taken aback. Like, I want to see someone like Busted show up. That's what I want to see. Bomb will definitely handicap himself. And he'll be so jarring. <laughs> it's going to piss me off, man. It's going to piss me off. Because he's going to struggle against someone that he has no business struggling against. He He totally is. Like every encounter should be like this one. Every encounter should be like this Ren encounter. Wherever where they look at him like what the hell like what? Like what's going on? <laughs> like Ren is like I don't understand what's happening. Like this dude is um like he's literally a monster. Like he's a monster. What's going on? He spent a lot of time on Redacto. I say that's enough of a handicap for the entire life. Yes, please no more. <clears throat> it's i i want i do i have no issue this is i've always said this i have no issue with bomb fighting rankers of the sort because he's an irregular and then everyone's like well him compared to other irregulars the power level is so vast and it's so different and i'm like yes i'm like this hasn't been confirmed. This is just head. This is just my head cannon, but it makes like 100% sense. All of the, all of the irregulars are individuals who were grown adults that came into the tower. 
we don't know the specifics of Bomb's birth with him being Arlen's child or whatever the case. Being born in the tower, being taken outside of the tower possibly, and then being selected to come back in the tower. He's the only irregular to our knowledge that has come into the tower with zero power. All of the irregulars knew how to fight before they came into the tower. Then they added the properties of Shinsu onto them, and then they're just they're just advancedness and learning techniques and experimenting made them so powerful. It's like Bomb literally started off with a zero, a big goose egg on his a big goose egg right on his forehead. And he had he's building that that power up. That makes sense to me. So it's like as he continues to learn, he's just gonna exponentially grow. Like he's gonna grow past the title of regular but unless he completes his climb he does whatever he needs to become a ranker i like he like he's gonna grow past that need for a title and he's gonna be one of the only irregulars to do that because he's the only one that didn't have a chance to climb without being impeded people have been trying been clawing at him his whole time in the tower like everybody like the like the the 13 they got to go up and do whatever the hell they wanted to Urek just blazed his way up through the tower <laughs> because he was just so busted and bomb's been fighting for his oh my camera froze bomb's been fighting for his life <laughs> literally he's been fighting for his life uh, that's why i said i was like the camera looked a little funky when i said that a couple minutes ago it felt it was gonna go but um but yeah, it's like Bomb literally been fighting for his life, fighting with mad handicaps. But I feel like as the, the more individuals he encounters with his with his ability to just devour, he's going to exponentially grow. So <clears throat> Is that true though? Is there proof that came with power? Um there's no in canon proof. That is true, but like Urek was a he was he was not a child when he came into the tower. And if we're following what CU said in the blog post, he was chasing Fanta, so he had some ability. So he wasn't he wasn't like a baby or nothing. Or a little kid. This is a little bit younger than what he is. <clears throat> so it's like he like he had he, he was strong. Um, as long as he remains consistent, I have no problem. He'd be white. If he struggles with anything that's less than a high ranker, um, a princess jihad or another top 100, 200 high ranker, it's like Quicksilver being killed by simple bullets. No, I take that back. It's like the flash being killed by a slingshot. <laughs> I, if bomb doesn't hold himself back, like if bombs not placing restrictions on himself, if certain things aren't done to him to make him fight at a lesser value, then it's like, yeah. If there's nothing impeding him, he shouldn't struggle. He shouldn't. There should be no struggling whatsoever. There should not be. But <laughs> better stop there. In case you want to know more, any more about that. He took he took um Ari Hans to. All right. Wrapping up here. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. This is a good chapter. Again, join the Discord if you want to be here for the live recordings because like 40 minutes just got cut from the last time you heard me talk until now. If you want to be a part of that conversation to make it either longer or shorter, come join. But um have a good one. This is a good one. It was a good one. I love this panel. I freaking love this panel. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next Monday. Hopefully, God willing, I'll see you guys next Monday for 137 of season three. So again, have a good one. Appreciate you. And I'll see you. Peace out.